Matson MG is the brand new medium long range focus LMG for the support class. It released today alongside Operation Underground as well as the beginning of Battlefest. For those who just want a quick rundown then, the Matson MG is the new king of medium and long range engagements when it comes to automatic weapons and LMGs. It offers low recall, high accuracy, and depending on your specialization choices, a generous magazine size, as well as what seems to be a unique damage model amongst the LMG class of weaponry. This comes at the expense of poor fire rate, limiting the weapon's potential in close encounter scenarios, but continues the tradition of support LMGs as a slightly more flexible, non-frontline weapon, promoting a slightly more passive, but just as rewarding playstyle. For those who want a little more detail, in today's weapon review, we're going to be talking about how to best unlock the Matson MG, the stats we have so far, the specializations available and that I would recommend, and how it compares to the competition, as well as how to get the most out of the weapon when using it on the battlefield. In terms of unlocking this weapon, things are relatively simple. They can be summarized as play medic and play medic on Operation Underground, because the challenges are to play one round of Operation Underground to earn 2,000 points by reviving, healing, or resupplying teammates, inflict 3,500 damage, kill 10 enemies, and then earn 20,000 points on Operation Underground. Most of these challenges, if not all, are likely completed fastest while playing Medic, and the Medic is one of the classes that Operation Underground most definitely caters to, so select your favorite close quarter SMG and play a couple of rounds of Operation Underground, and you'll have the Matson MG in no time. In terms of these stats, these are of course not officially available just yet, but with the help of a little bit of in-game testing as well as the in-game information provided, what seems to be the case is that the maximum damage of this weapon, unlike other LMGs, sits at 22 with the minimum damage at 20, meaning that this weapon has an all-range 5-shot kill, no 4-shot kill in close quarters, but no 6-shot kill from 50 meters onwards, unlike all of the other LMGs in the class of weaponry. The fire rate sits at a record low, 514 rounds per minute, identical to that of the Bren gun. The magazine size is relatively limited at only 25 shots available, and the reload times aren't exactly blazing fast. In terms of the recall, once again official numbers aren't known, but given that the in-game information provides us with that it is slightly less than the Bren gun, it is safe to assume that the vertical recall of this weapon is around about or less 0.66, which is what the Bren gun sits at, and the horizontal recall likely sits at 0.15 or less, much like the Bren gun. In terms of the spread vials, I expect those to be the same as all LMGs in the class, and there's 0.15 of minimum degrees of spread while aiming down sight and standing still, 0.4 while doing the same and moving, and 4.5 for hip firing and moving simultaneously. In terms of your available specializations then, your first choice is between either quick reload for 15% faster reload times, or quick aim, giving you 33% faster ADS times. Then if you go down the left hand side, you're looking at the recoil buffer upgrade, giving you a 20% decrease to your vertical recoil, followed by that precious extended mag upgrade, which ups the amount of bullets you can hold in your magazine from 25 to 40. If instead you go down the right hand side, you'll be looking at the custom stock, improving the accuracy of your weapon while aiming down sight and moving, followed by the barrel bedding, which does the same, just simply for when you're aiming down sight and standing. Then lastly, your choice is between the high velocity bullets for a 10% increase in muzzle velocity, or the ported barrel, which decreases the horizontal recoil of your weapon by 20%. In terms of your most likely paths, there really does seem to be two options here. One focusing more on multi-targets and likely more medium long range instead of exclusively long range. And the other focusing on kind of one target per mag at any range you want to engage on. Either way, in my opinion, you're best off starting off with quick aim and ending off with the ported barrel upgrade. It's really what you pick in between that determines which of these two paths you're going for. If you're focused more on multi-target engagements, you have to get that extended mag upgrade and thus you go down the left hand side, also getting a small buff to the controllability of your weapon thanks to the recoil buffer. Or if you're focused more on the accuracy of your weapon and by extension of that, the longer range targets, you go down the right hand side with custom stock and barrel bedding. Given how fully automatic weapons don't perform that well at extreme long ranges in my personal experience, just because of visibility and the optics that are available on them, as well as the need to hit very accurate consecutive headshots on targets that are hiding behind cover, I generally find myself gravitating towards the more multi-target medium range approach, which means quick aim, recoil buffer, extended mag, and ported barrel to round everything off. 
In terms of comparative performance, we have to talk, of course, about the Bren gun. Because while the stats aren't completely clear on this weapon just yet, it does seem to be the case that this is essentially a Bren gun with a slightly more advantageous damage model, at least in certain scenarios. So the Bren gun has a damage advantage up until and including 10 meters. They're equal between 10 and 50 meters, and from 50 meters onwards, the new Matson would then have a bullet to kill advantage, making it the clearly better choice. Which is also how you separate these two weapons in terms of when to play which. The Bren is the more medium long range focused LMG, versus the Matson is the more medium long long range focused LMG. It is slightly better at longer ranges, equal at medium ranges, worse at close quarters. I think there's a fair argument here to be made though for the Matson over the Bren, simply because, well, the Bren isn't good in close quarters either. Not even in the sub 10 meters where it has that 4 bullet to kill, because all fully automatic weapons have a 4 bullet to kill at those engagement distances, and then the Bren just simply loses out thanks to its abysmal hip fire and its poor firing, which are shared by the Matson MG, but the Matson MG has an easier time taking out targets at more medium long ranges, which is why this weapon really is as interesting as it is. Now, will it ever compete with something like a Gewehr 43 at medium long range? No, most likely not. There's usually still about a hundred millisecond time to kill advantage for most of the faster firing medium long range focused semi-autos that the Assault has available to them. But the Matson MG, as well as of course the Bren, are a lot easier to use, have the availability of a bipod, and one more thing to note, the Matson MG, unlike all of the other fully automatic weapons, doesn't get a significant nerf to it after 50 meters because of the lack of a six shot kill which means it can more or less continue to keep up with the semi-automatics just like it can at medium range which makes it a slightly more competitive choice when going up against these semi-autos. In terms of playstyle, well, using this weapon really is all about engagement distance, keeping your distance because you're good at medium range, you're good at long range, but you're not great at close quarters. The other part to this is of course spotting targets, which can be difficult in Battlefield 5 with visibility being what it is and the further out you are, the harder it can be to actually spot targets. You may want to go with a higher magnified optic on this weapon if you struggle in that department. The other thing you need to note is that you need to be careful with the targets that you select. Yes, this is the best long range fully automatic weapon available in Battlefield 5, but it is still no match for the semi-autos, SLRs or sniper rifles if they've got some kind of heck glitch or good cover position on you. You're then going to need to reconsider engaging that target. If you've got most of their body available to you or you're at more medium ranges where you can guarantee landing consecutive headshots, then you've got no problem. Just be a little bit smart about what you shoot at and what you don't. And the last piece of advice that we mentioned with most automatic weapons, but is all the more applicable for weapons that you fire at more medium long range targets, crouch while shooting, it'll give you roughly a 20% decrease to your vertical recoil, making the weapon just that little bit more controllable. That pretty much wraps it up for the Matson MG. Feel free to share your own experiences with the weapon down below. If you enjoyed the video, a rating would be much appreciated. And with all that being said, I'd like to thank you very much for watching and hope to see you in the next Battlefield 5 video.